Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll continue with another exercise in intermediate algorithm scripting. It's arguments optional. Okay, we need to create a function that sums two arguments together, but if only one argument is provided, then we need to return a function that expects one argument and returns the sum. Okay, here is the example with two, three should return five, and add together two should return a function. Okay. And we should be able to call this uh, returned function with a single argument. If either argument isn't a valid number, return undefined. Okay, now let's start here. To, to check the number of arguments, we're going to use the object arguments. Let's see what that does. Yep, it just gives us the, an object with the arguments. We can com uh, it's easier to work with it if we convert it into an array and we can do it like this array dot from I think this one converts it into an array yep okay now I'm going to store this into a variable called args for arguments so here we have all the arguments now we need to perform a check if uh, args.length is equal to 1, then if we have only one argument, we just need to return a function. And the function, we can just return the same add, add together function, but now it will have the args0 as an argument. And then you can, we can add um, another argument. So this one should work. Okay. Now, or no, better we should do something like, we, we should return only a function. Oh, okay. So in this case, this one wouldn't work. So we can write a, a function right here, a fat arrow function, which is easier. And we can do something like this. So it takes only one argument, x. And what we do is we do x plus add together um, arcs 0. Yeah, I think. No, returns arcs 0 and x. Yep, this one should work. Because now we are applying add together with two arguments. And this one we will specify right here. Okay, so if it is only uh, the length one, else, else will cover only cases with length two, because, uh, yep, these are the only cases we want. Let's specify it else, else if, or I think else should work. Now, we want, when there are two arguments, we just want to return the sum. Return args 0 plus args 1. Okay? Let's see what we need to remove this return. Let's see what this does. Okay, it works for two. What about when we do something like this? Yep, it works. Now we only need to cover when the argument isn't a valid number, if either argument isn't a valid number. Maybe it's better to check that first. So I'm going to make this an else if, and I'm going to create an if here. Now, how can we check if, the arg uh, if either argument isn't a valid number? We can do, since we have an array of arguments, we can do args.sum. So as long as the function inside sum isn't, doesn't return true for any of the arguments, then it will be false. Okay, so if args.sum, and uh, we want to check if element, I'm going to write a function here. We want that uh, to be 
not a valid number. So type of element should be different from number. Okay. Yeah, I think we can we can do it even with uh, with every, but we just need to write equals to number. So in this case, if any of these elements in the array um, is not a number, then this one will return true and it will go inside. It will execute this block of code. And what we want in this case, we just want to return undefined. Okay, and this is the else if. I think now we cover all the cases. Let's let's run the tests. Yeah, perfect. Okay, guys, um, that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll continue with make a person. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.